Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that Microsoft had confirmed that the Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 25H2 and 24H2 KB5066835 had broken many RRS, Internet Information Services websites, after the recent October 2025 Patch Tuesday update and its preview update, which was KB5065789. I'll leave that video linked for what it's worth. Now, just to let you know that I mentioned in that video because Microsoft has confirmed yet another known issue that this update for Windows 11 24 and 25 H2 KB5066835 has caused. And this is now the fourth known issue for 25 H2 since its release that Microsoft has officially confirmed over on the Microsoft Health Dashboard page over on Microsoft Docs. Two were inherited from 24H2 and two are new with Windows 11 25H2. Now Microsoft says that after installing this update, USB devices such as keyboards and mouse do not function in the Windows recovery environment, WinRE for short. Now just a quick recap in case you don't know what WinRE is all about. According to Microsoft, the Windows recovery environment is a set of tools included with Windows that can help you troubleshoot and fix common problems with your computer. If your PC is having trouble starting up, Windows RE can automatically start and try to repair the issue. Windows RE, Microsoft says, is also a starting point for various tools for manual system recovery. And that's just a screen grab of more or less what that Windows recovery environment is all about. Now, Microsoft says that this issue prevents navigation of any of the recovery options within WinRE. Just take note, though, that Microsoft says that the USB keyboard and mouse continue to work normally within the Windows operating system. And Microsoft mentions that the next steps, it's working to release a solution to resolve this issue in the coming days. More information will be provided when it is available. And obviously, when I get knowledge of that regarding this issue caused by KB5066835, I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. And the affected platforms are Windows 11 25 and 24H2 and Windows Server 2025. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.